to create our first program from your SAP GUI you can either key in transaction SE38 or you can navigate to the ABAP editor through the SAP menu tree. Go to Tools, ABAP Workbench, Development, and there you'll see SE38 ABAP editor. Double click and execute it. Now, just before we create our program, just something to keep in mind. Try and keep your programs as simple as possible. Do not make your programs any more complicated than they need to be. Now I say this because through my many years of experience with SAP, more often than not you have to pick up somebody else's program, try and understand it and either make enhancements to it or fix bugs that have been identified sometime after it has gone live. And the worst thing in the world is opening up a program, seeing hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of lines of code with very few comments and it just takes an absolute age to understand. I advise you all to keep things really simple. Add lots of comments into your code so that anybody else and yourself that comes to look at the program later on can easily understand what the program's doing and the flow of the logic as it's executed. It makes everybody's life just that much easier. So let's get going and we'll enter our first program name. Now remember, we have to use our own customer naming conventions. And in this case, that means we're going to start the program with the letter Z. After a Z, you can name it whatever you want. We're going to stick with the employee theme that we use when we created our table. So I'm going to enter Z underscore employee underscore list underscore zero one. You notice that I used underscores just to separate the words within the program, just to make things a little easier on the eyes. Ensure that the source code radio button is selected and then click the create button. We're then presented with this program attributes window. And the first thing you need to key in is the title for your program. So I'm just going to enter some text that describes what the program does. My employee list report. Ensure that the original language is set to EN, which it is by default. And just something to note, the language of the program has an effect on what text entries are displayed within certain programs. You will see that the original language field has automatically been filled in with EN for English. It's important to note that any text entries you create within your program are language specific and they can be maintained for each country by using a translation tool. Now we're not going to be doing this right now but it's just something for you to keep in mind. Now come down to the attributes and you'll see the type, click the drop down button and select executable program. Now this means our program can be executed without the need for us to create a transaction code. And it also means the program can be run as a background job. We'll set the status of our program to test program and we'll set the application to basis. Now these two fields are just used to help manage the program within the SAP system itself and it describes what the programs will be used for and also the program development status. Now we don't need to touch any other field here so leave the authorization group, logical database and selection screen empty and make sure the editor lock field is left clear. If you do turn on editor lock it will prevent the program being edited. That's not what we want. <laughs> leave Unicode checks active and I suggest you always leave it active for every program you create. This ensures your program can cater for multi-byte coding. Ensure you leave the fixed point arithmetic checked 
because without this, any packed decimal fields that we use within our program will all be rounded to whole numbers. And we will leave the start using variants checkbox blank. We will touch on variants later on, but for now, just go ahead and click the save button. You should be familiar with this object directory entry box, and because we're not going to be transporting our programs, just click the local object button to assign our program to our temporary development class. And now you've made it. You've finally got to the coding screen.